you've been playing Splatoon 2 for a long time, chances are you have a few too many coins on you. Maybe you're like me with 9999999 nine, cash and nothing to buy. <laughs> Could we fix Splatoon 3 somehow so this doesn't happen? I think so. Let's explore some ways the development team could change Splatoon 3's formula to fix this for us. Our first option, what if we could pay to choose our main abilities on our gear? When you visit Inkopolis' shops, there's only one choice for every piece of gear that you want to buy. To get gear with alternative abilities, we have to wait for it to show up at random on Splatnet 2. And that can be a while. Now that Splatoon 2 has been out for so long, there are plenty of alternative abilities floating around for gear, but this wasn't always the case. And honestly, it's hard to tell in the plaza what's real and what's been hacked in. You take gear and you're just kind of hoping that it's legitimate. <laughs> and in Splatoon 1, oh well, this wasn't even an option. You got what you got and you didn't get upset about it. It would be nice to see the development team streamline this process in Splatoon 3 by just letting us buy alternative gear right in the shops. Let us pay a premium for it if we have to. I wouldn't mind paying extra coins to swap my gear for a different option. It would allow players to experiment with their gear abilities while staying fresh. See something in the shop? Want it to have swim speed? Bam, you got it now, easy. Want to try run speed later? Easy fix! And option two, let's allow extra slots to be bought with coins, not just sea snails. Please, this one is a pet peeve that I know a lot of players share. If you started playing the game after Splatfest stopped rolling out, you probably don't have a lot of super sea snails, the currency needed to add ability slots to your gear. Sure, we can make money to re-roll gear, but what if players want to have more three-slot gear options and don't have the snails? I don't think anyone would really mind coughing up some coins and more slots. I'd do it in a heartbeat. And hear me out on this one. Have you ever wanted to recon a stage, but it wasn't in rotation? Remember in Splatoon 3, we're gonna have those espresso machines perfect to go flying around to various locations. Thanks to that new technology, the problem of not being able to go to recon maps could be a thing of the past. For a small fee, you could travel up to any map you want for 10 minutes and explore it to your heart's content. This would be great for players that want more time to experiment with Rainmaker paths, find just the right flank spots to take advantage of, or even just record for videos. Like, like this one. Get it? Hey, you should like the video while you're distracted by this third wall break. <laughs> All right, here's a fun one. Option four. What if we had more control in Ammo Knights' training area for weapons? I've said in a previous video that I'd love a private battle mode where we could use any combination of subs and specials with a weapon. Imagine if we could pay coins to unlock this in the training area. It'd be great for players to experiment and understand weapons while using kits that they're comfortable with. Or, hear me out, you could find out more about chip damage numbers. Imagine one of your best friends loves to play burst bomb weapons. Imagine being able to throw a burst bomb while playing Dynamo Roller to see, in advance, what you'd have to do to combo properly with your friend in a fight. There could either be a huge fee to unlock this for every single weapon at once, or maybe you could just choose what you want. Burst bombs, splat bombs, the crab tank, all the way until you have everything unlocked. Wanna keep making the game better? You know, uh, Nintendo dev team, it's not too late to let us purchase food and drink tickets with coins. Currently, you have to get tickets to the single player or through Salmon Run, but there is a limit to how many you can get in every single Salmon Run rotation. Playing too much Salmon Run leads to you just getting a ton of gear, but no tickets. If Krusty Sean wants to make more money, he should, uh, you know, just, just take our money, please. Please, Sean, take my money, please. If you've played Splatoon for a long time, you probably do have a lot of tickets by now, but having a lot of tickets doesn't mean that you'll definitely get what you want. <laughs> like, some players can run through their stash and they still don't have the gear that they want. 
If we could buy drinks without needing the ticket, players could possibly get better gear earlier on into their Splatoon 3 experience. A lot of people just had bad gear for a long time when Splatoon 2 started, and we just kind of accepted it. There was no way around it. What if things were better? What if we upgraded the order system completely? For one more idea, if Nintendo doesn't want us to be able to buy any gear we want, could we at least buy any gear that we see in the open right away? Currently, you're allowed to have up to three pieces of gear stored in the order queue, and if you see anything else, uh, you just straight up can't order it unless you remove another one of your ordered pieces of gear. Instead, we could be given a catalog similar to the one that you see in Animal Crossing games. Imagine being able to order as many pieces of gear as you would like, but for an increased price. We could still have the order system for the sake of actually getting specific sub abilities on a piece of gear, as we all know that once in a blue moon, you'll actually get the gear that you want for merch and not just, you know, the blank gear anyway. <laughs> Maybe a piece of gear ordered directly could finally have a better chance of actually having the sub abilities attached, as, you know, right now in Splatoon 2, that chance is awful. Really, this video has just been a bunch of quality of life changes the development team could add while also giving money a better purpose, and that's all I wanted it to be! I dream of a Splatoon 3 experience where I don't sit around with max money for years on end. <laughs> I mean, hey, I, I could also spend a bunch of that money on uh, stuff for my apartment, Nintendo! If you show us apartments, I'll party! If you have any other ways that we could put some extra cash to use, leave a comment underneath the video. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. Thank you for listening to me share my thoughts on how I could shoehorn some good fixes into Splatoon 3 without making things too easy. Just, you know, doable without spending months trying to get everything you want. <laughs> if you want to hear more from me in the future, don't forget to subscribe for more Splatoon and Nintendo content. Let's keep making Splatoon better together. See ya!